Yeah, I'll also share, because even before getting to realize that you have tools to use, it's like when I was talking about like when the trigger happens and then the flashbang happens, right? And all you see is the trigger. A lot of times you don't even recognize you're triggered, right? It's like first you're just going along life and a part of you is just like, yeah, I, a part of you feels like you're in the right. Like you're in the right and everything you're doing is still the proper step and then I'm just going to move forward because uh, this is who I am. And it's like you're trying to prove who you are. And you don't see that a lot of times, especially when you're starting out and you don't realize that, you know, and the ways that you can be triggered or the ways that you know a game can suddenly sneak in and triggers can happen because like triggers aren't usually just super loud and being like obviously yeah, now we're fighting or now i'm super sad or now i'm black it's not like black and white like that a lot of times it's like you'll feel a trigger and then it'll be in the middle of a conversation and you slowly just start to like you know settle back in and hunch and you're suddenly quieter and you don't know what's happening and then suddenly you just gave all your power away and you don't even know and you think you're fine Right, you're, you think you're fine having a conversation like a meal with your whole family at dinner and you're just sitting there like, yeah, we had a nice dinner. But you don't know that you just shrunk to a space where you couldn't have your voice out there. So, right, that's one way it can show up. And then the other way is, yeah, the explosive one that you might see happen to a lot of people where it's like, hey, you're having a conversation with somebody. And then suddenly that person says that one thing that is completely against your belief structures or just something that you see as true, not just for yourself, but in your reality. And the second they like to, to you, it's like they took a hammer to your wall and you explode and you're like, no, but I'm in the right. And this is what I believe in. And you just have to make a stronger stance. And a lot of times that belief structure in itself doesn't recognize the fact that it is a trigger, a fact that you're showing up as something that has to make a stand, something that has to be either from a personality space where you feel like you, the world owes you something or you have something of value to the world that is greater than anything else can be or what nature itself can do, right? It's like that level of game where it's, it's drastic, so to speak. So yeah, the first step to me, it's like just understanding that this kind of game to all subtle degrees can exist. It's like, can, can you see that, okay, how am I when I'm actually relaxed when I'm actually in a playful mood, when I feel enthusiasm and creativity in my life, and I'm able to work with people. Like when I'm able to see things and actually see the joy and goodness that can happen in an interaction, it's like, well, the second I recognize that that is not there, I know something is up. And to whatever small degree, it's like, for example, for me, when I was starting out, like having in my face triggers from Jason, for example, when I first like met him, one of the first go-tos I noticed is if I was in my house or in my car and I couldn't sing along to the song that I was listening to on Spotify or whatever, that's when I knew when I was triggered, when I wasn't allowing myself to enjoy music that I love. And that was just like the first instance. Then I noticed it in other areas like, well, if with this person, if I normally have a lot of fun with this person, but now suddenly I don't feel like I can make a joke, well, I know something's up. Right. And then that's up to me to realize it's like, OK, how can I make room? How can I bring in the maturity and the like the almost like the courage to look at what happened to me there? Because a lot of the times also at that level, the ego gets in the way where you're like, no, but there's nothing wrong. But there is if you have to convince yourself there's nothing wrong, there's something going on. So it's just been a whole journey of just admitting to myself, where am I actually not here and where am I actually here? and being honest with it.